Hello guys, I am Shubham from Tuvel Tutorials. This video is the part 3 of the chromosomal aberrations. Specifically, this video is about the inversion. So, before we start, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get notified whenever the video is out. So, let's get started with the video. Basically, inversion is the inversion. In, from the name only, you can understand that the chromosome segment is inverted. Suppose I write here, This is a sequence of a chromosome A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay. If we take this B, C, D, these are inverted in inversion like A, D, C, B, E, F. So this is known as inversion. The segment of a chromosomes are inverted. Okay. So see, first of all, if we say like that, with the help of chromosome, this is a chromosome and the first break, there are two breaks occurring, okay, in this sequence from here to here, then this sequence is rotated, okay, rotated, 180 degrees, thus the segment is inverted, okay, after the break. So, like this, inversion occurs. Okay, now inversion is of two types paracentric, paracentric inversion, and pericentric inversion. So, this is dependent on the location of chromosome. Okay, uh, centromere. Okay, location of centromere. If centromere is not involved in the inversion, means what? This is a chromosome. Okay. Here is the centromere, we know. And the inversion is here. The centromere is not involved. So, this is known as paracentric inversion. Okay. What we can write here? Centromere is not involved. Okay. And here in pericentric, Centromere is involved. Means what we can say? Again, I will draw here a chromosome sequence. Then the inversion is from here to here. Means the centromere is involved. Centromere is involved. Right? Got it? So this is so much simple. Then in this inversion, there is no deletion of the genome, right? The genome is retained. Sequences are retained. So, mostly inversions are viable, okay? Produce viable offerings, living offerings, right? But inversion can give rise to deletion as well as duplication, okay? Note this point. Inversion can give rise to deletions and duplications during the cell division, okay? So, now let's see how does chromosomes behave. If there is inversion, how there is division occurring, okay. So, also there are terms like homozygous and heterozygous in inversion, okay. It may be homozygous paracentric or homozygous pericentric or heterozygous paracentric or heterozygous pericentric. So, here what we can say? Homozygous. Inversion in both chromosomes. Okay, inversion in both chromosomes. And in heterozygous, only one chromosome is inversion. Only one chromosome. Okay, so this is the terms homozygous, heterozygous. So, first we will see a heterozygous condition. Heterozygous condition is mostly more seen. So, this is about paracentric inversion. And this is a heterozygous case. We can see the first chromosome is normal and this is in, inverted, right? Here it is written normal chromosome and inversion chromosome. Okay. Then, 
see there are no changes in mitosis the changes are in meiosis during meiosis during the formation of gametes right so mitosis does not give any rise to changes all is normal in meiosis there are differences seen during formation of gametes so this is meiosis in prophase 1 we see this crossover okay this crossover occurs and this is known as loop inversion loop okay this is known as inversion loop we write right here this is known as inversion loop okay after this what happens there is recombination we can see here first chromosome is as it is see this first chromosome starts from here goes on goes on goes on and this is as it is second chromosome is changed we will start from here like this then here this is also as it is right this is as it is then fourth fourth chromosome we start from here we go here right and then this okay a b c p a and d also is there a d c b a all right and this will go this will form a loop this second one from here it will go in and it forms from here see this like this four chromosomes we get okay see this is known as dicentric bridge okay see here it is written dicentric bridge and during chromosome segregation this is broken we know centromere get attached to mitotic spindle and this is a centric this is a centric fragment a centric means which is not having centromere here there are two centromeres so that it is known as dicentric chromosome with two centromeres so dicentric and this is a centric without any centromere so this fragment of chromosome is lost a centric fragment is lost during division meiosis and this is retained okay and during this segregation in anaphase see segregation at anaphase this causes break okay here it is written random break in dicentric bridge see this is the break see this is a normal product because there is nothing like here okay see this normal now this two are the deletions this deletions occur okay instead of a b c d e f g h there is only a b c d and in fourth only a is there entire segment is deleted so these are non viable okay this third product inversion product all genes present all genes are present only the order is different instead of a b c d it is a d c b right else it is same e b e f g h right so from here we can write this are not viable non viable and this are viable right means when there is a segment is retained those are viable those are living gametes and the gametes those are with deletions or we can say duplications those are non viable okay we have to uh, understand this carefully how does crossover takes place what are the products we have to remember this that paracentric inversion crossover give rise to dicentric bridge and a centric fragment dicentric bridge means what the chromosomes will get separated there will be deletion products okay two deletion products and one normal product and one inversion product right inversion with a uh, segment is retained whole sequence is retained so those are viable and deleted uh, deletion products of inversion are non viable right now this is the paracentric inversion peri centric inversion so in paracentric inversion same cases are there all is sense a uh, same see here the centromere is involved here centromere is between cd okay bcd same segment is inverted so here it came dcb centromere position has been changed it is between cd so it is come up here okay then meiosis in prophase 1 there will be crossover 
right? There will be crossover. And the result of this crossover, single crossover between B and C in inversion loop. See what happens. Here, there is formation of duplication as well as deletion products, okay? Deletion is also there and duplication is also there. See, this is the first chromosome. It will be as it is, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Same. Now, second chromosome. Starting from A, B, C, D, right? So, then it comes down towards fourth, okay? And then here, once D and A, see here, same it is there. There, A, B, C, D and A. This is normal, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, now third chromosome. Third chromosome starting from A, right? A, B, A, D, A, D, then B, E, F, G, H. This is also viable. Inversion is there. Nothing else. Then the fourth one. See this, starting from here. Fourth, this. It will go. Then come and then this will be involved. Second and four. So, see, third chromosome A, B, A, D, C, B. We saw this. This is the inversion product. And here it is H, G, E, F, G, H. Right? Here A is not there. And there is duplication of the segments. Right? I hope this is properly visible. So what we can understand here, normal product, all genes present, right? All genes are present here. Then deletion, duplication product, E, F, G, H deleted and duplicated, A duplicated, right? We can see A double times. A is two time and E, F, G, H segment is deleted. So these are inviable, right? When there is deletion, when there is duplication, those products are inviable. Now the next product is inversion. Inversion product, all genes are present, but the segment is inverted. That's it. Okay, but those are viable. Again, next, deletion, duplication. Product A is deleted. Product A is deleted. And EFGH, segment is duplicated. Here also, EFGH is there. And here also. So, we have to remember this as well. When there is paracentric inversion, there is duplication seen. Okay, right? Duplication as well as deletion is seen. And those gametes with duplication, deletion are inviable. And those with only inversion product, all genes are present. We can say all segments are present or sequence is inverted. Sequence is inverted, but all genes are present. So those are viable. Those are viable, right? Here also, inversion, those are viable. So two are viable, two are inviable. This we have to understand. Now, this is the case with the inversion. Now, there are some exceptions. We have already studied double crossover. Okay, these cases are with single crossover. Single crossovers are giving rise to the deletion, inviable uh, gametes, right? Vi uh, viability and uh, is affected during the single crossover. Means what? When there is only inversion, the gamete is viable, the offspring is viable. Okay, there might be some phenotypic changes. In the next slide, we will discuss the exceptions for viability. See, when we see a double crossover event, Double cross over. This is the exception. Does not affect viability. Okay. Does not affect viability. And the second case is inversion in non essential genes. Inversion in non essential genes means genes, those are non-essential in function. If the inversion is occurring in those genes, or we can say those segments, those sequence, then because those genes are not, not essential, so it might not show any viability or does not affect viability because inversion is in non-essential non genes. So it might not have any effect on the phenotype as well. So that's it for this video. I hope this video is, is helpful. If you find this video helpful, do let us know in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like it, please share it. 
Don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever new video is out. Also, follow us on our, all our social media pages and you can join us on Telegram and stay connected for the latest updates. All links mentioned in the description section.